Hi, this is Sumio Manji, Senior Principal Solution Architect at Elastic. I'll be doing a quick demonstration on using natural language to query Elasticsearch. So, a little background. Elasticsearch is long known for its rich query DSL. If you want to do something in search and it's complicated or simple, there's probably an API that exists for it. That's what we're known for. However, those that are just getting acquainted with Elasticsearch may find it daunting to learn it or to understand it. That's fine. So what if you just want to express your ask in natural language? So that's where we're going to try that today. So I have loan data, right? Financial data in Elasticsearch, and I want to ask it some analytical questions, right? So I'm going to be, let's say, a teller or a banking officer. I'm going to ask some, some curious questions. So let's take, for example, a simple one. What is the average loan interest rates, right? And here, again, I don't know the DSL. I'm pretending that I do not know the DSL and I just want it to generate the response based on natural language. And it said the average loan interest rate is around 3.8%. And we're gonna do a few of these, right? Let's take a look at what is the lowest interest rate. And here it responded, we're around 2.6. That's pretty darn good uh, based on today's rates uh, in 2024. Let's take a look at uh, what is uh, the loan durations we offer. And it responded, the loan durations are 10, 15, 20, uh, and 30 years. And then the last question, we'll just round this out. What is the average min max uh, loan amounts we serve? And there you go. It provided a response of what letters are min, max, and averages. So what did this show you? Show you that because uh, Elasticsearch has such a rich DSL, we may not know this out of the box, right? If you're just getting started but the LLM does. So what I've essentially done is I've leveraged the LLM to, gen, uh, to translate my language into an Elasticsearch query language because most LLMs understand it pretty well. The language has been around for a while, at least the DSL has. However, I do get questions on, well, what if there's a new API? Does the LLM actually understand that? Maybe not, but it's pretty darn simple to prompt engineer. So let's say there's a new API in Elasticsearch and the LLM doesn't understand it, no worries. We can, tell, we can tell the LLM through prompt engineering, here's what the API spec looks like for the following types of questions. Super simple. This lowers the bar of entry for search engineers, right? Maybe you don't understand the DSL, just use natural language. This could be the natural language API. Thanks for watching.